Anybody who knows a little bit about Olympic windsurfing knows your name. You and your sister have at home more Olympic medals than most at nations least. have <laughs> uh, in general. You are a very successful sailor but also a very successful coach and you help also the others to achieve Olympic medals. Uh, now you're involved with the team from India. Does it mean that they're gonna win some medals very soon? <laughs> well, um, winning medals is a long Take, it takes a long time and, and to be fair I've, I've only had um, one month in India and then I'm um, looking after uh, two Indian sailors at this event. Um, so it, ta it takes a long time to get good enough to win medals but certainly um, getting um, uh, good professional help certainly speeds up the learning process and the development process for a whole country. So um, um, India the Indian sailor has definitely improved a lot since the World Championships in Poland, um, thanks to um, the training camp we had in December in India. Is there a chance for a kid from Asia to, to get good? Sure, it's completely possible. Uh, for instance, Hong Kong is doing very, very well at, in the men's class in the Big Techno at this event and um, did very well at the um, Big Techno World Championships. So it's, um, there's no reason why they can't also do really well in the Olympic classes. Regatta in Big Techno, but you're already doing really good. Some races you are first around the top mark and you're sailing really fast. When did you start windsurfing? 
I have been sailing for one year. Only one year? Only one year. So kids, get out of their virtual world and off your computers. Uh, try different sports, try windsurfing. It's happening all over the world. It's a lot of fun. Um, you're out in real nature. Um, you're out in wide open spaces. It's pretty safe. Uh, and the people that are doing it are really good fun people and that's one of the reasons I've stayed in the sport for so long, because of the people.